So with Russia winning that women's singles, it means that they love they lead for love against the United States of America in the last of these group matches in level two group A. Next up is women's doubles and Tatiana Bibik and Anastasia Chirpakova up against Eva Lee and Hornelin Oberman. So I can tell Morton Frost to put his calculator away. You're not going to need that, Morton, because I can tell you that Scotland are leading 3-1 against Sweden, which means that Scotland have won that tie, and it means that Scotland have played three and won three. So they will top the group. So we needn't worry about trying to calculate <laughs> whether Scotland or Russia are going to top this group. And that's now been decided, and it's out of the Russians' hands. Well, here the American women's doubles pair. Russians played both the previous matches against Scotland and Sweden. Lost against Scotland, won against Sweden. The Americans won both Ladies, of their matches against the exact tails. same pairs. I tell a lie. That's not right. The Scottish pair was slightly different. Americans playing against Gilman and Pringle. And Russians, Gilman and Bankia. Server received first. You'll serve. Eva will serve. Tatiana, who will receive? Anastasia. Yeah, it could be uh, an even match. Uh, the, the tall, young girl from Russia. Anastasia. Anastasia. I've seen her play in the, in the uh, European Juniors in, uh, in Finland a few years ago. And um, she was the singles player. So um, if that's anything to go by, um, then possibly uh, there's a chance for the um, American mix. Uh, sorry, ladies doubles here. Yeah, there she is. It's not 20 years of age. Although she'll turn 21 next month. Anastasia. Partner, Tatiana Bibik, 28 years of age from Samara in Russia. Seven and six, they the last record for the year, world ranking of 28. And the last record for the year translates into a couple of semi finals the French international and Denmark international, quarter final as well. Poland. Some mixed fortunes so far, as far as their women's doubles are concerned in this Sudaman Cup campaign. So to the Americans. 26, Eva Lee, born in Hong Kong. Really hit the headlines when she won three gold medals at the 2007 Pan American Games in Rio de Janeiro. Took the women's singles, women's doubles, and mixed doubles. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? A lot of badminton in one week. And her partner, her banana, is 28 years of age. Actually picked up a bronze medal at the Pan American Games of 2011 in the mixed doubles with Howard Bar. Do you remember Howard? Yes. World champion World men's champion. doubles. Yes. Yeah. There's Carol Iariel of Ireland and Ian Spear of England the service judge this is the first time that these two pairs will play against each other now just before they get underway Morton I know that you've worked with Eva Lee albeit yes. just a couple of weeks but just no. a few weeks yes yeah. That's a long time ago, but uh, she was a del delightful player to work with. She was very keen, eager. She wanted to learn, and uh, she was always ready to rock and roll, whatever. So uh, she was a, a good student, so to speak. So there, Rudy Gunawan used to play for Indonesia, of course. He was the 1993 world champion with... Mm. Ricky Subadja. Everybody forgets that because he usually played with uh, with uh, 
Eddie Hartono. Eddie Hartono, yes, that's mm -hmm. true. With whom he won an Olympic silver medal in Barcelona. That was poor. Only silver. <laughs> 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 nah, he was a very, very good player. Good to watch. He was great entertainment for the crowd as well. So this women's doubles gets underway. The fifth and final match in the overall tie between Russia and the United States of America. Well, a couple of days ago, coming down to the Putra Stadium. We hitch a lift on the players bus, don't we, Morton? We yes, sneak we do. on as we're yeah. old has been players. <laughs> and I was sitting next to Anastasia Chirbakova. Okay. So did you have a chat with her? I did have a chat with her. And how is her English then? Um much, much better than my Russian. <laughs> Delightful young lady. Oh, that's nice. thing I immediately noticed with the Russians, Morton, on their defensive play is they seem to have very big racket swings. Yes, they have. They like to be on the attack, that's for sure, where they can use their, their power better. They don't like to be in a defensive situation. And just explain why it's not such a good thing to have a big racket swing on, on defensive play. The, the thing is that um, before you have to have it back to a basic position and when you play the shot and you follow through for too long or too far it takes you too long to get it back to that position so it's the next one that's it's the actually it's not the first one it's the second one or the third one yep. Established pair, aren't they? Seven straight points. Love two down. Seven two up. Oh, snatched it out a little bit. Yeah, but that's actually <laughs> the point I was trying to make in the beginning of uh, you know before we started here when I saw her playing singles two years ago she was um, a typical singles player and and you rightly point out as well that you know she's having really long movements in in her shots and all that and it doesn't really fit into to doubles play so she's getting caught and already got caught quite a lot here in the beginning mm. 
of nine points only comes to an end with an error on the serve. Teach her that one, <laughs> of course. <laughs> that was a really good shot. It's a very difficult shot to play, and you hardly see that in, in ladies' uh, badminton. stages uh, the Americans have picked up medals at major games the Pan American games I actually remember watching them at this year's All England Championships where in the very first round they beat Marissa Pat Lung and Sara Leeson Duncan who of course a very fine international player from Thailand don't lose your focus and remember to keep your racket up when you're at the net. Very wise words from Moody Gunnawan. Well, I would definitely uh, challenge Anastasia. I think... Uh, She's, she's struggling on, on the doubles of um, the double, uh, double shots and, and action and all that. So you, you can really put her under pressure. So if I had a chance and I could choose, I would uh, really play her as much as possible. And so they did. That's good cover by Bibik. Rally. Must have just seen with her peripheral vision. Mm, Tom was storming in yeah. there. That's good awareness, isn't it? It is, but you have to have that awareness. Can't play, uh, just play blind, and you, you've got to see what's happening on the other side and try to react accordingly. Just wanted to <laughs> check her spatial awareness, looking up at the lights. Maybe blaming the lights, I don't know. <laughs> that's what usually happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, good shot. Too far past her to play a winner like that. Service over. Oh, better return of serve. Mm, very good. And 
Another good return of serve. Good choice for the smash in my book. Cross the body, going towards the right hip of Chibakova. A couple of times I've felt that Chivakova is coming forward at the wrong moment. She is. It's very risky business. I don't know what she's hoping for, but uh, it's, it's a lift and the smash is, is coming for sure. And still she's storming forwards. Play both sides. Good rally. To me, it's, it's like the game is changing a little bit. The Russians are, are more forward and more attacking now than what they were in the beginning. And it's actually uh, even out, uh, evening out the game a bit, I think. Good defence. Oh, another good defence. That was a good rally. Well played. Service over. 19, 11. I think the scores is um, looking a little bit more comfortable than what they actually are. I think they <laughs> lately I think there's been lots of good rallies and it's a, it's a hard fight. Good low serve. 
And the third shot. And now it's game point opportunities for the Americans. First time of asking. 21-12 confirms Carl Yarill. And only you, Morton, I think the scoreline doesn't really indicate how good that opening game was. So there's confirmation of the score. 12 opening game to America. coach. Well, that's no surprise to me. One Siao Lee, the world champion, and world number one in the women's doubles, the hardest smash so far. But very, very interesting that the Americans right up there. Camilla Aruta Yu, a tall left-hander Dane, at number two on the list there. the fastest smashes often and I've talked to my colleague about this who does all the speed guns fastest smashes very very often coming from left handers and I wondered whether it's the way the feathers go into the shuttle mm -hmm. whether in fact it is actually a help to a left hander to create more speed mm. that's a good point yeah because of course Fu Hai Fang the fastest ever smash and Tan Boon Hyong very fast smash of the women Camilla Ruti. Right. Anyway, we'll ponder that a little bit more. We'll get consult our colleague again. <laughs> Don't know where he's gone. Where is he when you need him? <laughs> yeah, that's lovely. without saying Morton that given what we've been discussing in the opening game that the Russian pair look far more comfortable in attacking play mm. than they do defensively so like that like yeah that. that's what they want a good counter-attacking by uh, Eva here she didn't make it but the, the idea was really good and that's possibly the difference between the two pairs at the moment is that the American pair is, is more productive in their counter-attacking situation. Good return of serve into the mid-court area. Well played by Bibi.
Mm, in the middle lap too. Yeah, off to a much better start here in the second set than in the first. And it's just indicating what we said before. It's a lot closer than what the, the scores said in the first set. dispute as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not. Umpire intervenes and says it's fine. Oh, that's lovely. That's brilliant use of the mid-court area. Just that little push, not sure you get it past the net, Platt. First one, then the second one. think that the cross-court smash there was a little bit risky. Yeah, if Eva had succeeded down the line with that defensive shot, yeah. that would have been a winner. Russians are attacking a lot, lot more now than what they did in the beginning of the first set. And it's really helping their course. Oh, they're queuing up for yeah. it and then both left it for the other. <laughs> Goodness me. They went on a walkabout there. Thinking of what went wrong. again she's done it before discussion between the two of them <laughs> who should have taken that as a general rule it's the player on the cross court isn't that right it is yeah standing a little bit further up the court than the, uh, the player standing on the straight Problems down that middle. That's a very good serve. Even skimmed across the net. And it takes the Americans into the lead. Time in this second game. Ten, eight. Mm, once again, the Russians wanted the shuttle changed, and this time the umpire agrees with them. Something else that didn't really happen in our day. <laughs> we just changed it. We're sounding like a couple of old fogies. I think we're going to have to cut this out. <laughs> the Muppets show. <laughs> the 
Those two on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember the names. <laughs> no, probably best you don't either, Morton. <laughs> so to the mid-game interval. The Americans. Oh, one. Yeah, six points. Six straight points, yes. Being five, eight down. Seven, eight up. And the frustration there from Tatiana Bibic. Both coaches very calm and collected in their styles. He's the tiny coach I like to watch. He's so animated and he's, <laughs> he's so enthusiastic or he gets so frustrated with his players that he's always encouraging them and you can always tell what he's thinking. But the best of them all is the, is the Bulgarian. Yes. He is fantastic to watch. There should be a video about that man. <laughs> oh, what a miss. Played all the way and then missed the last one. the Bulgarian coach we were talking about. I'm impressed. Yeah, the coach of pitcher. That's as right. much as I know. Nedelcheva. Been Bulgarian number one for many years. Yeah. Still playing well. Yeah. Been one of the best in the world, top ten for quite some years. Quarter finalist at the Olympic Games. I beat Tina Brown, I seem to remember, back in <laughs> Athens in 2004. Probably, yeah. Oh, it's a poor serve. Good defence there by the Americans. Not a, not a good one. What a miss. He played it all the way to the very, very last one. Look at that defence there. Really good. Moving forwards and had great opportunity. as well taken off mm. the top of the tape. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that on a few occasions in the tournament so far. The player from the back should move in. But she didn't. I'm forced to play a backhand spin smash. With full pirouette. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but it was trouble. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a standard tactic in doubles anyway, isn't it? But it seemed this Russian pair seems to be particularly vulnerable to it. There are. There are. Th that's one of the first things in a partnership you are starting to, to organize who to do what and when and where. And that's on that channel down a little. Giving them 
some of their own medicine. Not a good serve, got attacked well, finished it soon. Second shot there. decisive move in this second game. Four point cushion at this stage. Interception of the net, couldn't finish it. One more. Hey. And some of the very good rally, isn't it? Calm in a crisis. simply have to win a few quick points right now otherwise it's going to be too late again the same what we just uh, discussed moving forward in a situation where Anastasia really shouldn't be moving forward yeah. that one is good but now she's going in and she can't go in on that one. Yeah, no, the shuttle touched her racket before it landed out the back, in case you're wondering why the point has gone to the Americans. Yeah, there's a slight naivety about her it tactical is. awareness, isn't it is. there? Absolutely. There we go. On the return. And there are match point opportunities for America. To save a whitewash in this tie. That's nice, good block. Oh, round the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a little bit of trickery. But uh, no avail in the end. 16, 20. Uh, that one is too short. Two match points saved. This time, third time of asking. 21 12, 21 16, the scoreline. And the unbeaten record of Eva Lee and Paula Lynn. That's one by Yana. 21 12, 21 16. 
They've played very well throughout the entire Sudaman Cup campaign so far. In the victory over Tatiana Bibic and Anastasia Chervakova. In a confirmation, 21-12, 21-16 in 34 minutes. Well, been very impressive by Resha, who's been champion and an Olympic medalist. Winning two straight games, 21-16, 21-15 for Russia in the mixed dolls, and then it was the turn of the men's singles and Anatoly Lyotsov against Shu for America. Once again, two straight games, and the Russian physically are very strong athletes. Really converted another point for Russia. As far as the men's doubles was concerned, Vladimir Ivanov and Ivan Sozanov left a right handed combination and they were in absolutely superb form. 21 8, 21 12 in 21 minutes. Never let up the whole way through, kept the pressure on all the time. We had women's singles. And what a match it was. Polika Parkov coming through in three games. And then it was the turn of the women's doubles. And all credit to Eva Lee and Paula Lynn Robaniana their unbeaten record going throughout this tournament. Winning the women's doubles. Three matches played for this women's doubles pair from America and three matches won. It's very impressive indeed. Two straight games. So there's confirmation of all the scores and the overall tie ending 4-1 in favour of Russia. So they will finish the group at number two position. Scotland, of course, have won the group. Sweden, three. And the United States of America finish fourth. Well, of course, that's all the action for today. We will be back tomorrow. Plenty more to come because it's quarterfinals day tomorrow. The knockout stage. We will be back at 12 noon local time. Until then, from Morton Frost, myself and all the team, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.